Toastmasters, wonderful guests, beautiful girls. <laughs> Good evening. Sit down there. Good evening. Good evening. As soon as I walked in, people asked me, hey, what's this? I said, hold on, I have a tall tale to tell you. Today morning, as usual, I was on my brisk morning walk on a track which borders a thousand feet cliff. I was listening to the music from my pod. I was walking briskly, oblivious to the surroundings. As I was walking, there was there a solid rock of the football size and I tripped over it and my brisk walk gave me so much of an impulse and impact that I flew into the air 10 feet high over the barricade and down into the rough sea below 1000 feet but I am a Toastmaster I have conquered the fear of speaking fear of death is a set distant second what did I do? I used my presence of mind. I straightened out. I became a projectile with my hands stretched out. And I was plummeting into the sea. As I neared the sea, I saw this hundred feet high waves coming and crashing against the cliff at a huge velocity. But that did not deter me. I just plunged into the sea and went all the way down to the seabed. And there I stood like a rock. But the waves, the force of the water, the currents were swaying me all around. <laughs> but then I stood there and then a thought occurred. I gulped huge quantities of seawater such that my lungs and my tummy bloated thrice the size <laughs> and then what did I do? I let the water from the other end of my body <laughs> <laughs> and that thrust <laughs> took me a time <laughs> up I broke the sea surface and my head was bobbing there up and down like a football I had a triumphant smile and I patted myself on the back. But that moment of triumphant <coughs> was short-lived. Because I saw one 30 feet shark racing towards me with its razor sharp teeth trying to come and bite me. But I'm a Toastmaster. I conquered the public fear. I took out my pen knife. As the sh shark approached, I slashed it vigorously, randomly pierced it, and very soon the shark was cut into tiny pieces. The whole sea was full of blood rut. And then I saw 30 sharks racing towards this to eat those flesh pieces. And I took this opportunity, I said, okay, now is the time. I turned towards the cliff and I started swimming at such a high speed that even a supersonic torpedo would feel it's slow compared to my speed. With such a speed, I was racing, but very soon I saw one of the shots was even inching closer and closer to me. Just when I was within the grab, of the razor sharp teeth of the shark, I saw this hundred feet wave racing. Then I adjusted myself as an expert surfer. As the hundred feet wave came, I jumped up and I surfed on the wave. I was racing towards the cliff like a hero. <laughs> and I was looking back, the shark was inching. And very soon, 
as I near the cliff, I jumped up sky high and caught the 30,000 feet cliff edge and jumped over it. I looked down and I saw those poor souls, sharks, sad and hungry, swimming away. <laughs> Just then my mobile rang. And who was it? Team Surya, Satish here. The toll test count is going to start. Where are you? Just five minutes and I was 20, 30 kilometers away from the venue. And I took to my heels. I thought the traffic was going to be so damn snarling. I thought I better take to my feet and I ran at such a high speed. And I came within five minutes covering all the 30 kilometers into the venue with this place. That's the story, my dear friends.